It's time for bonus points, where we get 30 seconds to rattle on about impressions, etc., of games we either recently played or are currently playing before Mario dies, and we shut up and move on. So I attempted to play GTA V Online Heist, however, since I didn't play it in a while, since it, almost it came out, I found I wasn't able to. You need to be have a whole bunch of requirements. Uh, you need to be level 12, you need to own a high-end apartment in-game with enough cash to front the heists. So I kind of say, screw you, Rockstar, in this instance, because I really want to play this, but they're, they're f fucking gatewaying you for it. So try it if you can. Good luck. <laughs> All right, I just started playing uh, Valiant Hearts uh, last week, and I played a bunch this week. Uh, the puzzles are incredible. Uh, every time a new mechanic is introduced, it's greatly, perfectly balanced with all the other previous mechanics that they've been using. Uh, I love the dog in it. Um, the art is phenomenal. Uh, you know, that's all I really have to say. All right, Borderlands Episode 2. It's called Atlas Smugged, which is an amazing title, first of all. And I've been very much enjoying the series. Uh, I, I got really into Borderlands after 2. And Telltale, of course, does an amazing job always with uh, almost anything they do. And they're doing just as good a job in this. If you like the lore and the characters and the setting of Borderlands, you're very much going to like this because the characters and the story so far has been fantastic. I can't say enough about it. Can't wait for 3. All right, I played... Um... Diablo 3 recently, and if this is just a kind of criticism, if you want to have surprise twists and character deaths, you can't have achievements based on them, and you're ruining the entire surprise right off the bat. Um, it's just really frustrating because I'm now not invested in the story, and I don't know, the gameplay is fine, but again, like, all the surprises are taken from me. <laughs> following up last week uh the last episode of Resident evil revelations 2 came out and also they have two extra episodes in which you play as moira and natalia uh respectively and separately just as them which are kind of interesting kind of the fun little side stories to connect to what was happening uh in the main ones and uh four has been going well so far i'm just about at the conclusion and again this game has been fucking kafka-esque so you know if you like that and you like res evil check it out <laughs> I played Escape to Island, and what started off as a nice, simple, straightforward game that could be somewhere between a Telltale game and Borderlands, um, about halfway through, turned to complete shit, and a subject which I can go into later, but right now, if you want an extremely mediocre game that wastes your time at the end, go for this one. Thank you as always for listening, and we will see you next time. Music by Stephen Hermosi, editing and engineering by Chris Morgan. Syntax error is part of a Lost Signals Productions, all rights reserved.